Stephen, it's uh, nearly quarter-final time at Trentbridge again. How are preparations going? Yeah, good. Obviously, it's a bit of time between the last group game and, and the quarter, so I think we had, a, we had a few days off and then back in last Thursday, Friday, which was a really good exercise. We played between ourselves, um, then had the weekend off, and then this week, obviously, we trained under lights last night to get used to that because we've not played many games under like proper dark. Um, yeah, a bit of a top-up session today and then squad training tomorrow to get ready for Thursday, so very excited. Yeah, a couple of different training experiences in the past week or so. Did that sort of competitive edge help on Friday with the game between you? Yeah, I think it's obviously always difficult when you're playing against people you, you play with. So, uh, But yeah, we, we did it as well as we could. I thought it was great for you know Dan to get a lot of time in the middle. He played beautifully. Uh, bowlers to, to try the plans and try a few different things. And the other thing as well, to see the lads who haven't played. So, um, you know, it's great to see people like Tom Barber, uh, Zach Chapel, who has played one game, to get a go. Young lad Sol and, and Lyndon to get a go. So it was really good to see, see how they went. Um, yeah, and it was a really good exercise. And last night as well, the training under lights. It's going to be as under lights as we've been in the competition so far on Thursday night. How do you feel you've acclimatised to that? Yeah, well, we started at six last night, so or just before six. Um, but then we saw it about 7.30, which is when the, the second innings started, it was pitch black. So... It was a really good exercise to have a bat under lights and field under lights. I think that's the most important thing with uh, with the ball going near the floodlights or into a dark sky. It's uh, you know it's very different, so it was a really good exercise for us to do. It'll be uh, far from your first Trent Bridge T20 quarter final. We think back to, to 2010 and and you're bowling in that game, and then 2017, of course, and the winning runs against Somerset. How do those experiences help coming into this week? Yeah, well, you know, a lot of us have played in a lot of knockout cricket and a lot of a lot of big games around not just in this competition but around the world. Um, yeah, and obviously I think if, um, if, if we do what we, what we know we can, then we've got a really good chance. Um, there's a lot of people playing well and, and the lads look really ready to go. A lot of those quarterfinals here have been fairly tight affairs at times and, and does that experience of coming through give you some confidence when you're out there on the field? I think we're always confident. We know we've got a good team, but it's all about um, producing the goods under pressure. We know, you know, knockout stages are very rarely easy wins or, or um, you lose easily so we know it's going to be a, um, a tough game they're a good side they beat us at, at Grace Road a couple of weeks ago so they know that um, they're going to be coming full of confidence um, but we need to sort of prepare uh, as well as we have and continue that into the, the rest of today and tomorrow um, you know relax and just go and play. Happier to have a side that you've faced a couple of times before even though it was one win one defeat? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it matters really. I think um, you know it's the look of the draw, isn't it? With the we were the luckily we played it well enough to get the best uh, first place. Leicester got got in beating Lancashire uh, and probably us. So yeah, you know, look, it, it, we get who we get, and we've got Leicester. We've got to focus on them because um, they pose a real threat, and uh, we're going to have to play well. And of all those uh, quarterfinal wins and those successes in this format with not so the last ten years, how's how's this side shaping up in comparison at the minute? Yeah, right up there. I think I think obviously 2017 was a great white ball year. This year there's only been one white ball trophy, but I think we've got as good a chance as any any of the eight left in the tournament. Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be ready and give it a red hot go.